Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Alchemist. I am back here with the Preceptor to find out what our mission is now that we've found all four missing initiates. Poor Foxpaw. He was so fixated in his machines that he couldn't see what he was despoiling um, our wares temple. Trampling nature while trying to learn from it. And he was told to bring back one of Arwe's apples? Yes, that fits in nicely with Millick's theory about what's going on. Oh, well. What about next? Uh, Millick has identified the extra planar beings who have captured our initiates. Better still, she thinks she knows what those objects the initiates are looking for. We may have a chance to save them. Speak with Milik Dar, and she'll tell you how to rescue the initiates at long last. All right, so I'll find Milik. And that looks like this one. Hello there. She looks more like a more senior one because the more senior ones seem to all be orcs. I've been scrying non-stop ever since the initiates went missing, looking everywhere. I think I finally figured out where they went, and it's the only place my scrying doesn't work. Of course it would be. Not long ago, a hut appeared in Stormreach's harbor. A hut from beyond. Gay peepers have been trying to get inside, but the building is under some sort of enchantment that prevents them from entering. I'm willing to bet you need a ritual items to get inside the hut. These ritual items may not be magical themselves, but form a sort of key that allows you to enter the enchanted area. Remind you, remind you of the items you, our initiate friends were sent to find? We thought the same. Oh, I see, that doesn't remind you. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, so the hut just appeared out from the beyond. Let's see, it fell from the sky, except there's no evidence for falling. One day, there was just the normal corner of the pier, and then the next, BAM! We suddenly have a full house in the very spot, complete with its own lawn. Uh, seems like a little suspicious, but we haven't been able to get inside yet. Uh, that's where you come in, alright. Hmm. Now... I think each initiate walked into that hut of their own accord, using one of the ritual items to bypass the hut's enchantment, but they haven't been able to come back out. I think that the initiates were somehow tricked into gathering these ritual items for whoever or whatever is inside. You've gathered all the same items our initiates were set to find. Would you go back into the hut from beyond in the harbor and look for the initiates? We've searched all over the rest of Stormreach, and this is the only place left where they haven't gone. Right. All right, fine. I guess I'm going to find out. Now, first thing is to find this mysterious hut that came from nowhere. Yeah. I see. That is a strange thing to appear in the middle of a harbor. Mushrooms. Lawn. Yeah. Not creepy at all. Now let's go inside, I guess. Hmm. You stand before the door of the mysterious hut. You feel a strange force, as if something inside wants you to enter. Use the items of the gatekeeper to initiate and enter the hut. Wonderful. It's time to do some housekeeping. Oh, wonderful. This place is weird! Well, why am I not surprised? Look at this. Three hags and four prisoners. Mm-hmm. Well, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, time to get some of that. Uh, what have we got here? Ritual incantation. Froth and boil, churm and toil, shield from scrying, magic stifle. Token somehow old yet new, boil into ageless stew. 
deserted home of a tribe's mine, churn into my cauldron wine, a melody both bright and loud dissolve into a frothing cloud, and lastly in this tick turn drop a bittersweet gift of sacred crop. Froth and boil, churn and toil, turn this boon to mystic oil. Beatrice, if I could forget to send off the second set of ritual items to our patron, it'll, I'll cover you in boils. Oh, if you forget. Very well, painful boils. <laughs> Cadence. Alright, so that means we need each of these things. Semi turn. Alright, so we start out with the old yet new, then the tribe's mind, then bright and clear, and then the and then the sacred crop. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah. Anything I can do? As you here? step inside the hut, you suddenly feel disoriented. Which way is down again? Oh, now you tell me! One of the hags notices your presence. <laughs> Would you look at that? More adventurers! I don't remember ordering food. Another hag responds. Stop thinking with your gut, Beatrice. They brought us another set of ritual reagents. Just what we needed. What luck! <laughs> Please, Agnes, says another. Luck had nothing to do with it. Plans within plans, sisters. One set for us, another for our patron. Cadence, says Beatrice. Tell me we get to eat them this time. I'm wasting away the nothing in this stupid ritual circle. You'll be fine, Beatrice. You're just ethereal, responds Cadence. Besides, we haven't ripped their souls out yet. Speaking of, into the soul bag with you. Uh oh. Oh, look. More flies stuck in the jam. Welcome to hell, idiots, grumbles Thel. We screwed up. Bad, adds Capstone. Yeah? There has to be something we can do, mutters Foxpaw. Would you like some tea? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poked Lily. Well, what a set we have here. Defeat the axe, interrupts the ritual, find a way out of the soul bag. Yeah. Yeah, would you like some tea? Aren't you at least a bit concerned about whatever the hags are up to? What hags? It's just a dream. Either you have fun with it or you turn it into a nightmare. It's your call! Oh, well, I suppose there is some truth to that. We all just walked into this. We just have seen it coming. Should have realized the offers were too good to be true, but no. We stormed ahead right away. Mm, don't be too hard on yourself. If not you, the hags would have picked someone else to do their target. We probably deserve whatever happens to us, but if only I hadn't taken their offer. If only I hadn't destroyed the magma brute. Why did I think being a bad druid would somehow transfer for me into a better one? I fouled up, and there's no way to take it back now, I understand. It's a whole lot to cope with, but it's not over yet. Let's try to do something about foiling their plans. How could we foil the hag's plans? If anyone's plans for this master, while well, we're stuck here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's begin by going through your thoughts and memories. Maybe they'll give us a hint or two about what they're trying to do, or how to get out of it. Be my guest. Hmm. Oh, wait. So, these are Capstone's Mind. Wonderful. Well, <sighs> figures it would be well ordered. Yeah. Artificer. And not Artificer, I mean. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, let's.
let's see. We want a... I'll be honest, says Capstone as you enter their mine. Ever since I was made, I did what people told me to. That is, until I figured out I wanted to be a druid. Oh! Oh, actually, let's put this up. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Ah. <sighs> Oh, hello. So uh, we're gonna have consistent disappointment. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Very important mission. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Okay, well that one's gone. Good. Unspoken regret. Yeah. I'm going to go through a lot of spell points on this one, I think. There you go. And whatever that is. And now do I have to just get rid of all these and I'll be done? Well, okay, these darts aren't doing any good. <laughs> Come back to the lightning. Everyone told me it was impossible because of my armored body, that I wouldn't be able to cast druid spells. But I refused to give in, says Capstone. I kept going anyway. All right, well. Consistent disappointment. Yeah. Uh, perhaps I should turn off the aggressive one. Yeah. And just go to normal. Blah, blah, blah. Something to the end of the world. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Okay. Now, can we settle down for a moment? High jump. Oh. Ha! <laughs> High jump. Well, I suppose that's could be useful at some point. Whee! Oopsie daisy. Or do I need to go down to another level first? Is there anything else left to fight? Well, not down here. All right. Well, back up. Oh, <laughs> there are. There's another way up. This place is getting tougher and tougher by the moment. What's shooting at me now? Oh, nothing worse than enemy you can't see. Oh, there it is, up way up there. Can I throw that far? No. Well, I'm just gonna have to try to get there some other way. Good grief. Oh, these, uh, th this is not working out very well. <laughs> ah. I can't get that one. And unfortunately, that's the one that's killing me at the moment. Ah. Oh, can I get through here? Uh huh. I knew it was wrong to kill that creature. I was a druid, but I was destroying nature. But I had a task. 
and I finished it, says Capstone with resignation. Then they fulfilled my dream by tearing my armor plates off. They made sure it was as unpleasant as possible. In the end, all I've done is doom myself and other people, and all over my own selfish desire. But you're here. Maybe that's something to hold on to. Oh. He seems to be roused from their grief. We're not dead yet, and that means we can try to fight back. Yes, that's the spirit. Well, that's one memory. I guess I have to go through. Yes, help all the initiates find solace. Three left. So those are optionals. Find way out of the soul back. Interrupts the ritual and defeat the hags. Hmm. Rip the scene. It looks like there's a loose thread on its making of the seam of the bag came undone, and the light from outside is peeking through. Hy hypothetically, tearing the little wider could um, could be your ticket out of here, but the other initiates of the bag might not be so lucky if, they'd, if it gets torn apart. Hmm, not yet. Let's make sure everybody is ready, or at least at peace. Uh, so... You either do it quickly or or slowly. Hmm. I'd like to do it all, but unfortunately, this looks like it's going to take too long for the point. I may have to do one or two of them offline, but let's do another one online. Let's see. So we have the orc there we have fox paul the younger and of course i'll do her offline <laughs> let's try f let's try fell what are you looking at quit bugging me uh let's see easy we're all in the same boat here boat ha huh. It's a soul bag, you idiot! And we can't do anything in here while the hags do. Whatever they're planning to do with us, we're so dead. Just because we're in Pearl doesn't mean that we should be mean to each other. Go away. All right. Perhaps I will do him offline. Hmm. All right, that leaves him. There must be something that we could fix about this. Think. Think, Foxball, think. Uh, excuse me? Uh, maybe we could turn the soul bag inside out, but how? Hey, uh, do you want to get out of here or what? Oh, what? Oh, did you just say you have a way out? Let's get out of here. Oh, let me guess. You want something for it, right? Uh, well, getting right now, that part is... That's part of grieving, and... And that's understandable. Well, we don't have time to for it now. Oh, you have a better idea? Let's go through your thoughts and memories together. Maybe we can find an answer that could beat the hags. All right. Sure. Maybe we can spot something I've overlooked. All right. Memories too. Hmm. I hope it's not going as tough as the other one was. Forgive me, my mind is a bit of a jumble right now, says Foxpaw. I'm usually much more organized. Yeah, alright, so we have a torture metaphor. <laughs> right. And we want to get through all this. We have the was this uh, tortured metaphor? So we have a couple of tortured metaphors. Are all these tortured metaphors? Yeah, these are all tortured metaphors. So can we try to use this to get to that tortured metaphor, perhaps? Hmm. It's worth a shot. Well, that's a shield. Hmm. We've got a bookcase here. Well, they could be annoyingly in the way. Oh, actually, probably where what to... 
Maybe we're going this way. And then... Well, the trouble is that this is then in the way if I try to do that. Well... I wasn't sure if there's anything in here I can't figure out. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What if I go after this? Maybe not. This has to be the core because this is the agonizing decision. The only thing that's different. So I guess it's deciding which of these to go towards. Hmm. The shield? Or the bookshelf? Interesting. Unfortunately, this does nothing. Maybe that's it? Maybe there isn't supposed to be something that I do here. Well, I didn't think about that before that. Let's hold on. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Now, is there anything I can do with this? Hmm. Everyone has to make a choice. Trust evidence and logic, or take a leap of faith, says Fox. All right. I suppose. Oh, it ouch, 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 ouch. Now for you. Chronic worry. Yeah. Huh. Ah. Alright, so that's As for myself, I've always been on the side of logic. I never had much use for my father's rituals and invocations, he adds. But Pa continues to reminisce. My father used to search through dusty scrolls, looking for ways to contact beings from beyond. I always told him he'd do much better with a solid, reliable construct. Yeah, that sounds consistent with him. Oh, hello. Ooh. Bit of an obsession there. Alright. Okay. Oopsie daisy. Hmm. Rune, 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 rune. Locked. Locked. Are all they locked? Huh. Oh, boy. There are just puzzles all over the place here. Am I supposed to solve one of these? And what happens if I do? We've got one, two, three different places I will need to go to if this is going to work. Rail of thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This is going to take some thinking, I think. This looks like it might be it. I haven't connected that one yet, but this will connect to here. Come over here, connect to this one, and that will connect to that one once I turn this. Now, the question is, what would actually happen when I do that? Hmm. Well, one way to find out. Yep. Huh. Quad damage. Okay, those are all quad damage things. Well... That's Oh Hirelings always getting on top of these things when you try to solve them. Uh -huh. well and Alright, right. Do right. I think there's just one more? But Perhaps knowledge of father's dark rights would be useful now, muses Foxpaw. 
Perhaps. Quad damage can come in handy, I guess. Quad damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I didn't see where that Simon game was. <laughs> where was that? I heard the sounds, but I didn't see the actual... Oh, there they are. Okay, so... There they are. Well, that was a tricky way of doing it. I missed the first one. This time, keep an eye on it. Surprise, I guessed right there. And now that our lives hang in the balance, it's time to think outside the box, says Foxpaw. <sighs> Okie dokie. Outside the box. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I can get back up here. Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe not. Have I finished everything here? <sighs> I suspect I need to get that ball in order to finish up. And fortunately, I didn't think about that when I had that high jump thing, so I'm hoping that potion of jumping will help me to reach it. Hate magnet. Aww. Hate magnet? Well... Obviously, that wasn't what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do I still need to do? Find a. How do I get out of this section? <sighs> because I don't see anything here that needs to be solved, or am I completely wrong here? Do I just jump off the side? That doesn't look like a smart thing to do at the moment. Wait a moment. What did he say? Think outside the box. Well, maybe that is the case. Who wouldn't strike a bargain with a fiend in a situation like this? Asks Foxpaw. Well... All right. That was a hint, obviously. Think outside the box. <laughs> Thank you for helping me organize my thoughts, says the drow. Think outside the box. All right. Good one. Hey, did you notice that you don't look like us? I have a theory about that, says Foxpaw. Though testing it might be a bit dangerous. <clears throat> and what do you have in your pockets? Booms a hag voice from somewhere above. Oh, my, my. That's a lot of platinum. Do they still use that in this place? <laughs> yes, you're not translucent. Is that a sign that the hags used a stronger spell on you? Or a sign of desperation on their part. Perhaps both. See, they got my components and me by striking bargains. You did no such thing. My best guess? They shrunk you and put you in the bag, body and soul, because they had no promises to latch into. Which means you could simply use your weapon or spells to cut through the bag, unlike the rest of us who left our bodies on the other side. 
If I'm wrong, ripping up the bag might kill us all, especially the initiates who aren't paying attention. But that's our only chance. Well then, what do I do? What I'll do is do the other two initiates, but that's going to be in the next episode of Piney Plays The Alchemist.